Go, greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to Domina, a spectacle of violence and greed. And a game with one hell of a soundtrack. Just give this a listen for a bit. Oh, yes. And for a game all about gladiators violently murdering one another, oh, it is spot on, it is. So we're gonna jump into a new endless game here and we're gonna skip the tutorial because it is useless. It teaches you nothing, but it does withhold a bunch of valuable gameplay mechanics. So yeah, ignore that one. Where we take on the role of Lanista and Domina Livia Merula here. We've got ourselves a Doctori, of course, who is going to be taking care of the training of our men. And we're going to focus on meditation first and foremost, because whilst you can take manual control of your gladiators, gladiators, gladiators in the arena, that is for the weak, the soft and the infirm. AI all the way, because you don't want to gimp the odds here now, do you? You can see up in the corner here, we've got the time until the next match. We're going to buy some water, we're going to buy some food, and we're going to hire some employees real quick. This gives um, various additional benefits to your looters. Personally, I think the educator is an absolute must-have, and the architect too, you, you, you can't not have him early on, frankly. And for the last slot, um, I think we shall go with a... Bard, methinks. There we go. And that is my three employees. We'll get the architect to start on a palace. The educator is going to get to work on the bonus attack damage. And the bard, let's get a little bit of morale up and running right there. So, in this game, as you can quite clearly tell already, you are in command of a Roman Ludus. We're also going to uh, see here... Whose ass are we going to kick today? Let's kick the, um, kick, kiss, the legate's ass for now. We're going to send him a bunch of wine to make sure that he's nice and happy with us, and uh, that is about it. So, we've got a battle coming up in three days. You can buy more water and food and a little bit of wine as the days pass as well. you got to do all of this manually, as this is originally intended as a bit of a mobile clickery game. And I shan't pretend that there is a grand amount of strategy involved. This is no command modern operations, sure. But it is a really cool and satisfying little video game. Right, so the host of this is the uh, Magistrate, which is a hint unfortunate, because he doesn't like me as much as the Legate does. We've got Belisarius Murmilio here, 171 hit points. Agility and attack aren't too good. Um, we, uh, we, we might have a chance against this guy. To be fair, our agility and attack is... Uh, ho, 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 ho. We've uh, we've been uh, we've been boned ever so slightly. I feel like here, right? We'll send in Centicus because I think he's he's got an opportunity. He's got a chance here. He's far from guaranteed, but we we we've, we've got a tiny bit of hope, a small amount. Let's see how it goes. Uh, oh, good, good. He starts out well. Stun lock the little bastard. Ow! Come on now. That's critical hit. There we are. Block with the shield. Good boy. There we go. Get him. Come on. Oh, he lost his sword. Fuck you. And down. Mm. Victory for Santius. 142 coins and crowd favor. Keeping the favor of the crowd is quite useful as they will give you additional items. This game also has a sort of Twitch integration, which is a brilliant thing if you want to get actively screwed over by your audience, who will, of course, love to see you fail because, um, well. <laughs> Why, why the hell not? Hell, I sympathize. I'm not saying it's wrong. Right, let's move on to the next one. Um, body healing more quickly. That sounds useful. Let's make sure we've got some healing going on over here as well. And we shall, um, we shall, we shall reward him with a bit of coin to make sure that he's nice and happy. We shall, yes. So, the game is all about getting your uh, 35, 35, that's not bad. Um, that's more for more for like a more of a agility focused guy though, not really for these guys, but we'll keep that in the, 
the back of our minds, absolutely. Now, there, there is a campaign mode, which has a story of sorts, where uh, you're going to have to um, take certain actions to make sure that your domino arrives on the other end alive. But I shan't spoil anything for that, because it is a story after all. So we're just going to busy ourselves with the endless mode for right now. You can also attend the pit fights. The pit fights are... Um, Nasty in in many ways. Let's attend one, shall we? Velius here. Weapon nothing. Details are hazy in the low lights of this dank pit. So you got no idea what you're coming up against. But Velius here, his gear is looking fairly all right, really. Um, let's send in Vitruvius. If he hasn't got a weapon. I figure he's got a halfway decent chance, though his AI skill is, um, s -s -s lacking. This guy might break my neck. Uh, he's got 82 hit points. Oh, no, I, th I think we got a, we got a good shot here. Come on, the Vitruvius. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he does have a weapon. Mm, low lights, visibility. Oh, shit. Nope. There we go. In fact, I believe that was a weapon that was thrown into him by the crowd there. Whew. Alright, 88 food, 88 water. We got a slave and repost and some crowd favor. That's not bad. 35% more attack damage after successful defense against opponents. Ooh, that will go on Santius right there. Absolutely. Jupiter's blessing is one of the things that the uh, uh, the tutorial, by the way, takes away from you, which is why you should skip it always. We're going to keep focusing on meditation because that will increase the AI skill at handling your fighters. It's um, it's pretty goddamn important, to put it mildly. Particularly if you're going to play hardcore mode like Archers, yes. Let's go Song of Juno. Make sure we're continuously buying up the water and the food and the wine. And uh, need to keep bribing the Med Manchester and the Legate. They, uh... They require ridiculous quantities of wine to successfully uh, bribe after a while. And in the end, in endless mode at least, you arrive at a point where there's really not a whole lot of a point in continuing to bribe them. But uh, nevertheless, you want to do so at least early on. You can also see that there are uh, guys you can hire eventually in endless mode. So you will be going on continuously like the Doctore Emeritus, which increases a bunch of stats. Really, really, really good stuff. Now, let's see if there was any um, halfway decent uh, uh, Battle Hardened Gradiator. Would we have the money for that right now? Salius Thrax, 202 hit points for 100 coins. You know what? That is not bad. Let's uh, let's pick him up, shall we? And make sure that he's doing some meditation, and we'll heal him up as well. Whilst well, we wait for our next match. You've also got the championship coming up there in 346 days. The championship is, of course, a pretty gosh darn big deal, though you also have access to other lesser games to begin with. Like a rumble in the jungle, champion Fabius the Unforgiving, a dark spectre of a man who reportedly tore his priest's face, priest's face to death during a picnic. All right. Uh, these are uh, considerably harder challenges, so you want to be leveling up a lot before you get to that point. You can also upgrade your gladiator's equipment, and I highly recommend you do, because otherwise they're going to be very sad and very dead gladiators. It works in a bit of an interesting way, where a lot of the upgrades are very, very cheap, and then occasionally you'll run into one really expensive upgrade, uh, which is a good reason to... Oh, I've been de here, haven't I? Ugh. Which is a very good reason to get the, um, the, 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 the Fabricator up very, very, very early. Because, of course, he is going to give you a lot of free gear. As that is his special ability, upgrading certain items for free. So, obviously, you would keep going until you reach something fairly expensive like that. Then you would stop and hope that he'd give you a freebie. Right, let's see what else we've got here. A wine cellar, generating free wine for the Ludus. That would not be a bad idea at all. It's going to take a bit of a while, though. Hmm. Do you want to start about that right now? Let's, uh, 
Let's go for the wine cellar, shall we? It's a bit of money, but we can afford it, as we've got the next battle coming up here now. Against Justinian Thrax. 198 HP, agility 16, attack level 4. Oh, we, we can take him, definitely. We'll uh, send out Santius again. You don't want to overuse your gladiators, because they'll get a bit of an ego eventually, and they'll start asking for their uh, release as well, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, we get hit by the first one there, but a nice big crit does a bunch of damage. He's, he's chipping away at me, but I've got the crits. And that is why you take the educator early on, because, yeah. He makes those earlier battles a lot easier, since that crit rate... Mm. Do not, do not underestimate the power of a good crit rate. See, who was the new guy? It was, um... This one up here, wasn't it? He's doing agility training. You don't need to worry about that yet, my buddy. Get down here, and we need to get your AI up, right? So he is done with the AI. Perfect. Now we can bring that down to the minimum. And, uh, what was it? I think strength was one of the key things here. Weapon as well is really good. Uh, defense is a hint less important, and agility too. So we'll focus on... Weapon and strength for now, and we'll put him up by the Palisade there. 54 AI. Alright, the rest are going to have to meditate for a while longer, methinks. Forget to heal you? I did forget to heal you. Now, having the Bard as well means that you get a bunch of passive stamina, which is... Uh, stamina. Uh, morale, which is very, 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 very excellent. He'll also increase training speed, which is fantastic as well. With the Rosalia approaching, the Legate seeks extra slaves to fashion garlands of roses to adorn his soldiers, whilst the Magistrate seek extra slaves to lay rose petals on the graves of the dead. Hmm. Right, well, we're primarily kissing the Legate's ass right now, so we're going to lend some slaves to the Legate. So he's had the extra labor and returns them all in good health after the festival. The Magistrate, however, stews in your rejection. You can see that their, their favor dives like nobody's business and what I'm trying right now I'm just gonna try and get the legate up far to see if I can't get him to maybe give me a patronage but mm, honestly their favor drops so gosh darn quick that in most cases you're better off just ignoring it now there are some benefits like for example if they really like you they will give you better matches but it's, it's it's a marginal improvement at best, honestly. It also makes them a bit easier to uh, get slaves from. But you, you get enough of their slaves otherwise, too. It's not a big deal. How are you guys doing? Your AI is at 79, 78, 63, 40 in there. Mm, good, good, good. We've got one more battle coming up. I want to be careful using my favor there too much, though. Thrakes. Agility 6, 14 attack, 173 HP. Let's, um... Vichivius? Let's, let's try Vichivius right now. I wouldn't be too sad if I lost this one too. You gotta, you gotta lose one on occasion, otherwise the, uh, the matches are gonna get a lot harder a lot quicker. Uh, he's got the advantage in the chip damage, but the big crits. The big, big crits save my ass. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're doing really well so far. The magistrate's wife is reported missing. Will you lend your guards to help search for her? Screw the magistrate. He can eat dick for all I care. The magistrate is disappointed that he cares so little for your fellow civilians that he would not left a thing and help save one. The woman shows up at your villa a day later, drunk and announced that she had had an affair with a butcher. You keep this general secret to yourself. For now, the magistrate is ordered to embarrass by absence. This would only shock him further. It may be of value sometime later. Hmm. See? Never help the civilians. They are nothing but a burden. I say. Right, uh, do we have any promising up-and-comers here? So, we do have Solitorius. Yeah, he is a Thrax. He might be useful. Um, who else have we got? Atis. 170 hit points is not awful. It is, it is not awful at all. 
Maybe, uh, maybe we can get him up. Ratanis are really good, but I gotta unlock that via the Dictori. You've got a full little unlock tree here, we might as well get that started as well. Max stamina and research rate, um... Focus, definitely focus. Retarius, or maybe a Scissor. A chari actually, I would love a Charioteer eventually. Yes, let's get him started as a Charioteer, shall we? The Charioteer is one of my favorite, because you can get a lot of money on the Chariot Racers. You absolutely can. Alright, you are AI 96, 97. He's almost done meditating. Fantastic. Yeah, you're done too. Let's move over to psychology. Ah, don't have enough wine. Let's pop down to the market and pick some up then. The gameplay of Roop, uh, Roop Loop, as you can see, is fairly simplistic, yet, again, it is, it's just quite a lot of fun. The battles are great. Send you over to the palace there as well. Are you done building the wine cellar? You're not. Lazy little scoundrel. 89, 86, 62, 88. They're getting there, they're getting there. Let's see. Nimbleness. Why not? Why not? 97, 98, and then 100. I would love to see a uh, sequel to this game, by the way, but with more stuff just just more things more of everything like make this like a a full-on game yes yes actually you know what Kalius. i uh i think i think we're gonna use you for something else Kalius. yes i think you are going to be used for uh, an another Another very valuable thing for the Ludus, yes, 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 yes. For you see, you remember how I mentioned that it gets harder after a while? I invite him with the family. Swell. Any sort of compensation. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's what I get from being nice to the Manchester, that fat churlish asshole. Ah, never never be nice to the Manchester. Never, never, ever be nice to the Manchester. He's a horrible human being and should not be you know, be counted as a human being, frankly. Yeah, uh, anyone? Hundred, good. But like, there's a lot of little things which are very, very manual. I imagine this, but more of again everything. Oh yeah, look at that. That was what I was th level ninety two. Mm, yeah, I was um, I, I was thinking a match like that was upcoming, which is why Kalia's here is going to be sent forth to defend the Ludus' honor. <laughs> Unarmed, I point out as well. Oh! <laughs> well. That was brief. Yet, um, you know, somebody had to go out there. You cannot, you can not disappoint the crowd, okay? The crowd wants blood, and so the crowd is going to get some blood. Nice and simple. And now that I've lost one, fairly intentionally, the next match is not going to be quite so brutal, hopefully. Speaking of brutal, we're gonna need some uh, upgrades on our weaponry here and some armor too. Oof, it gets expensive quickie, doesn't it? Yes, it does indeed. Got lots of water, lots of wine. You can always have a little bit of wine because it does give you other bonuses as well. Alright, uh, Canius, you, you've got some decent stats. Let's uh, make you into a scissor, shall we? Something a little bit interesting here. Now, unfortunately, there... Because in real life, a lot of the idea with the various equipment was that it would actively hinder the gladiator in some ways and give him advantages in others. So you'd even have a little bit of... Um, rock paper scissory style of system where somebody like the Retarius with his net might be really good against a Thrax with a the huge helmet for example but he would have very little armor and so he'd be really vulnerable against perhaps uh, a Sagittarius though Sagittarius was a bit more of a, a special mass kind of melee kind of guy as well there's actually a lot of really cool lore behind the gladiators which uh, Maybe I'll have to make a video on that on the proper channel at some point. Hmm, who knows, who knows. Hmm. Let 
Magister is embarrassed. There we go. A nice use of the secret there. Uh, let's uh, gather some stones for the palace. Greg! Ah, yes, Greg. Uh, a good, solid gladiator name right there. Yes, we lost one match. Now we're up against Greg. I think, um, I think Camius can have a go at Greg. Yeah. And the battles do get a lot more complex than this further on as well. Um, like various hindrances, like lions, for example. Oh, oh, Greg gets the first hit. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, Greg is being a bit dangerous here. He's managed to disarm me. He's taken my helmet off, too. Oh, Jesus, this is uh, turning into a far harder match than I was hoping. Kanyas has gotten his weapon back and his helmet. Come on, Kanyas, you can't just be defending. There you go, good big crit. Come on, one more hit. Oh, he threw his weapon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was uh, that was that was closer than I wanted right there, Canius. But uh, here, have have some coin and a little bit of wine. That was uh, that was well done. You did manage to throw away your sword, which <laughs> is a bold maneuver, sure, sure. But hey, you won, and if you win, yeah, you get a little bit of a reward. That's just how things are in these places. But yes, I mentioned you do get stuff like chained up lions, for example, or maybe you are up against a fairly weak gladiator, but your gladiator has to fight with his, um, his, his, his arms bound. Ooh, maybe it's, maybe it's just bound by a rope, you know, maybe it's just bound by a rope. In which case, that's not too bad, you can get around, that's not the worst thing in the world. But maybe they're chained. Ooh. Yeah, that gets a bit worse again. Hmm. Now I do, I do want a chariot eventually, but uh, 175 hit points is not awful. So I'm gonna pick up this useless little slave here. I'm gonna a bit of healing and focus him on meditation, and uh, we'll have him work for us in the later stages. Now we did get that roll speed, the scissor. The scissor is not a bad roll speed user, so let's get him that. He's not super heavily armored guy. Let's see. Uh, we were we I wanted to head towards Vitaria, so let's go some shield control there as well. Make sure we've got plenty of all of the resources. And what do we want. Oh, water well. Let's begin digging that, shall we? The matchman drunkenly stumps into your villain, demanding horse and wine. Sure, sure. To crudely draw a small penis on his face. <laughs> that, that's worth a bit of water and wine right there, no doubt about it. It's It was definitely worth it. Come on. I would love some uh, some chariot races as well. That'd be lovely. Oh, God, my charioteer is not exactly good yet. Nonius. Our uh, drill 22. 176. I, I, can, I can take him. I can take him. I can take him. I don't think Camius can take him, but um, Vitruvius. You've uh, actually... Mm, Sentius? I can take actually. Oh, I can take two guys. Can I? Well, in in that case, I will. Tethered gladiator. Oh, he's bound as well. Oh, oh. See, this is what happened. Right. The I gave the magistrate his horse and wines, and so he has given me this match. Oh, that, no, that's a legate. Oh, I guess the legate likes me. Because this is this is a really good match. Tethered. Oh, all right. No, they're my yeah, no, no. My guys are tethered, that's the obstacle. So my guys are tethered, as you can see there, they're bound down, but I get two of them. And tether's not really that big of an obstacle, honestly. They can get rid of that nice and easy. Oh yeah, gang up on and slaughter. Yep, that was a nice and simple match. Simple victory, plus a bunch of experience points, a bunch of money, and a little bit of crowd favor as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Everything is proceeding smoothly in the ludus of Lanista and Domina Levia Mercola. Now, another thing too that I'd like to point out is that when he introduced the experimental tactical multiplayer to the game, the developer also made this 
post. <laughs> I, uh, I definitely think this is a dev that might be worth supporting. So, if you want something uh, clickery, just a little bit of fun and simplistic to play in the background during the holiday seasons, I would definitely recommend checking out Domina, a spectacle of violence and greed. Uh, and, uh, oh, a charioteer, a slave, and a lion up against one of my guys. Oh, oh, that is one hell of a, oh Jesus, that is unbelievable, and a Vitarius as well. Oh, that is unfathomably unfair. Sure, why not? Canius, I never liked you. Let's so uh, let's get you massacred, shall we? And hey, there is a, there's a slight opportunity the lion might go for them instead of me. Unlikely, but oh, uh, uh, there is no. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Some matches, you're better off just refusing. <laughs> oh well. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. And you, Leggett, you can go shit fuck yourself. The rest of you, have a good day.